Welcome to my channel. My name is Pedro Miguel Costa. I'm a full-time photographer and filmmaker. And uh, a few videos ago, I made some uh, discovering about this. This is the Red Mag. As you know, the many brands have it. So DJI have it, uh, Red have it. They have proprietary media, in this case, SSD, very cheap SSD inside, and it would cost a fortune. And on this camera, on the Red Dragon, uh, the only way that you could record some uh, RAW is by inserting one of these into this slot here and you press record and the image will go straight to the SSD card, 16-bit RAW. That's the only way you can record RAW. Card, insert. If you want to record, imagine 1080p, 60 frames per second, you would go and insert an SDI or HDMI and you go to the menu and you uh, link it to an uh, Atomos uh, Blackmagic recorder and you get 1080p, 60 frames per second. But that is no RAW. But I cannot record elsewhere the, the, the RAW files. Yes, you can. But where? Where I record? You know, there's a thing called user manual. No, user manual is very helpful. Um, when I have a camera, I print the user manual and I read the manual. I have it for the complex cameras like the Red Dragon, like the Sony Cine Alta F55. I really print the user manual and I read the manual. And one day I was moving around the, um, you know, the menus, the user manual, and I came across on page. 93 of the user manual here page 93 of the user manual local stores footage directly to a ssd this ssd then network then external okay external it's like hdmi sdi remote control you press record on a camera and this starts record on a black magic on atmos but after there's a catch um, this uh, feature is only available for Epic Dragon or Scarlet, Scarlet Dragon. No other cameras are included. And I was, okay, network. And I was, what? Can I record 6K RAW, 16-bit color through the network? Is that it? I don't need this. And I said to myself, mm, I don't believe, oh, as you, you don't know, I'm not, English is not my native language, it's Portuguese. Oh, Cristiano Ronaldo, ooh. Um, so, I have this cable and I wonder, okay, I have this cable, but can I record 6K RAW? through the network with this cable? Mm, I don't think so, but I can. What tools do you need to record with your Red Dragon into any SSD? You need a LAMO connector for the Red. It's a one gigabit per second connection uh, that goes into this pin here it says gig e so it's an ethernet connection with a lamo uh, plug and on the other side this simple network connection i need this cable here and this adapter to do this yeah now i have 
a network adapter, USB-C, and a connection that goes to the red. I have this, but how do I record to, to the network your 6K footage? Where? Where does it go? Network, okay, but where? Where does it go? It goes into deep space. On the user manual, uh, it's written that you can record through the network. Network. And the exact words are network. Storage footage to a network. Very I couldn't agree more. It's so elucidating. No, HDRX is disabled in network storage mode. Note, the network option only available on Epic Dragon or Scarlet Dragon, period. User manual. You have the manual. Network records to and network storage. Poof, kaput, no more information. Do I think this was on purpose? Yes, of course it was on purpose because it should tell you how and where. A little software called Red Tether. I don't know its spell, but it's under the, the pack when you install Red Cinex Pro. Uh, there's a small software that allows you to connect your Red Dragon, Epic Dragon, through a network to that software. Settings, recording, and after. Um, here it says storage local. You click it and you choose network. Okay. Now the camera is in network mode. Let's go back. Setup. Communication. And in Ethernet, you are going to put not the HTTP. So the HTTP is like a automatic. Um, it will attribute automatically the IP address. Don't do that. You want to uh, do a static IP address, so you put it 10, 10, 10, 10. The net mask 255.255.255.0, gateway, don't put gateway. Um, and that's it. Your camera is ready to roll and you can close. I'm going to do some tests now. I will press um, here, record, preview. Let's do some, let me open up this. I can show you my setup, my S1H with DJ Mike, with Cartoony, uh, my Apogee. <laughs> and all the stuff that I have on my bench. And now actually um, the stream dot uh, is red, not yellow as it was before. So it's not, it was just streaming. It was not recording. I will hit stop recording. Now I will go to the folder and there's another folder because I've already recorded something and I will open up the red player and voila the um, the footage will be i will open with the uh, red x red x cine pro software it's bouncing and bouncing to open just a few seconds two gigabytes on the ssd Hello, and as you can see, I have my footage here directly. Look, let me 
put some playback. There's the footage streaming directly from the folder that I have here directly into the computer. So now if you have um, a Red Dragon, you can record directly into the computer or for an external uh, SSD without going through these nonsense SSDs. But as the user manual says, it's only available for this Dragon sensor. So the Scarlet Dragon and the Epic Dragon. Um, I think this video will be very helpful if you are thinking about acquiring one Red Dragon and you don't want, just want a body and uh, with the mount, a PL or a EF uh, adapter you don't want to spend a lot of money uh, with, with these cards and you have a laptop you can record directly from the camera to the, com to the computer so thank you for watching subscribe where, where is the button just right there right there please subscribe there 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 oh 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 don't go away please subscribe um and that's it thank you for watching thumbs up